What's up guys? So I feel like recently I've noticed an increase in the MMA fan base talking about how they feel about champions overall. I feel like a lot of people have like very strong takes about the current champions that we have. And not that this never happened in the past, but I feel like I'm noticing more of a controversy with the champions, more of people talking about star power. I think some people realize with the lack of Conor McGregor we've seen recently that UFC may need some star power and fans are trying to find superstars and things like that and trying to get the perfect champion. And I feel like recently this has just been talked about more than usual. And I have a few examples. So I think one of them is the personality of Sean O'Malley, something that's been talked about a bunch recently. Uh, the star power of Ilya Taporia. As recently he became the new featherweight champion. I've also noticed some criticism of Leon Edwards. Now these fighters are getting talked about and criticized for many reasons. One of the criticisms that is being thrown at Leon Edwards is that he is chasing double champ too much and all these current champions like Drickus Duplessis, Leon Edwards, they're trying to go after two division success instead of clearing out their divisions. And fans are just getting really frustrated with the current crop of champions and just how they're acting, the inactivity. I have a bunch of reasons. I'm going to talk about the concept of like the ideal UFC champion and what is the ideal UFC champion and do I agree with that? Maybe you guys can comment in the comments below what you think the ideal UFC champion is and if you agree with what I think the fan base looks at as the ideal UFC champion. I'll give examples of things that fans look at as, yeah, that's good to have as a champion. So in my opinion of the fans view, the ideal title reign includes things like good fights, activity, fighting the challengers in their divisions, star power, a sense of invincibility that they have. They have to be somewhat likable to have the really ideal reign and also talent. Now, what I feel like the fans look at as the bad qualities of a title reign, I think it's bad fights, obviously. Lack of promotion, like they're just not very promotable. Uh, they appear very beatable, even though they're winning fights. Low skill level, like they just don't feel like they're skilled enough to have the title of champion uh, and also inactivity. So a lot of those were the opposite of the ideal that I laid out. And I do think there's an important thing going on right now with the UFC fans discussing what do we want from our champions? I do think overall as a fan base, the activity from a champion is easy to notice. You guys remember when Kamaru Usman became champ? and he was just hated because he had a bunch of boring fights as a contender. He won the title in a pretty slow fight against Tyron Woodley. His first title defense against Colby Covington was a really good fight, but people didn't really expect a good reign from Usman as far as entertainment, as far as a bunch of other qualities, but they expected potentially a long reign because of his wrestling ability. And the reason why people didn't think too highly, I remember, as a fan, they thought Colby was really the significant threat that was there for him. And they thought he's just going to wrestle everyone else in the division. And that kind of got proven true when in his second defense, he had a bit of a boring fight versus Jorge Masvidal. But I talked about activity because that connects to Kamaru Usman's title reign. I know this is a past reign, not a current one. But the way that fans flipped, I think that's what kind of molded the mindset of the fans today. We had unbelievable reigns in Kamaru Usman, Alexander Volkanovsky, Israel Adesanya. These were great title reigns, so we're a little bit spoiled with them, right? And I think one of the reasons for Kamaru Usman, the fans kind of looking at that reign in a very positive way now, was because the quick turnaround that he had when he fought Gilbert Burns in February ends up fighting Jorge Masvidal in the rematch in April. And even though people didn't like the Masvidal fight being made, they loved the activity from Usman. And then he goes on to fight Colby. And I think that's when we saw that flip on Kamaru Usman's reign. I think the activity is easy to notice for fans. And it's one of the reasons people love the reign of Kamaru Usman. And that's why I talked about likability as part of the aspect to having the ideal title reign because Kamaru Usman wasn't liked at the beginning of his title reign and then slowly became more likable because of reasons like activity and things like that. So people started to like him a little more. And in hindsight, people look back very positively at the reign of Kamaru Usman, not just for defenses, but overall it being really good for the sport. And I do think that's what fans want overall. It's obviously to be good for the sport. I think sometimes there's different cases where particular fighters, maybe like Sean O'Malley, just gets under fan skin. Even though Sean O'Malley is good for the sport, in my personal opinion, a lot of fans just aren't going to like him because of his personality. But another example, as far as likability and things like that, the fans did not gravitate towards Alexander Volkanovsky until his great win over Brian Ortega. 
and especially when he beat Max Holloway, he really earned that respect. And I'm talking about their third fight. It took a while for people to look positively at Alexander Volkanovsky's reign. So the criticism of these champions that we're seeing right now with Leon Edwards, Drickus Duplessis, some people are already criticizing the title reign of Ilya Tapori, he just won the title like not even a month ago. I think part of it, Sean O'Malley, we haven't seen them get defenses. They have to build more of their title reign for fans to look at it positively because I do think people didn't look at Volk's reign positively until later on. Um, Kamaru Usman as well. Israel Adesanya, the expectations were really high and most people were really happy he was champ. So that was a little bit of a different case. But for Israel Adesanya, there were a lot of critics of his reign because of boring fights. And that's one of the aspects of being the ideal champion. I would agree with that. When I watch a champion, I do want them to have good fights, which is kind of a weird thing, right? Because as fans, we like to see dominance from champions. I think overall, we do like to see that a little bit because we want you to be the best, but we also want you to be having good fights. You can't be very boring. That's what people thought Usman was going to be. Turned out his title reign really wasn't that, but everyone thought Usman was just going to have the most boring title reign early on in that reign. So people were really negative and that kind of flipped. But with Israel Adesanya, he did have some boring fights in that title reign. I'm talking about his first title reign. And that led to criticism from fans and part of more of a disliking for Israel Adesanya. We started to see a lot of people really dislike the champion. So I think as part of the ideal reign that I talked about, things like good fights, activity, fighting the correct challengers in the division, uh, as far as rankings and things like that, star power, invincibility, uh, being likable at least somewhat in talent, those all went into play into how we viewed Israel Adesanya, Alexander Volkanovsky, Kamaru Usman, those longer reigns of recent times. So I do think we need to see more, obviously, from these new champions, but the criticism is pretty high of them. I talked about Leon Edwards being one who's getting criticized a lot. I talked about Drickus Duplessis, Sean O'Malley, Ilya Taporia, John Jones as well. Leon Edwards' title reign so far is a little bit similar to the Israel Adesanya one in the way that fans are talking about it in my opinion a lot of people are calling Leon Edwards a boring champ and things like that which is a bit wrong to be honest he did have one fight that was pretty bad versus Colby Covington but we got to give credit where credit's due he only has two defenses so far so it's not been the longest reign and his first title defense versus Kamaru who's been in the trilogy fight is a good fight but for some weird reason fans are getting extremely impatient maybe it's the lack of star power that we're seeing fans are getting impatient they want activity Leon hasn't been extremely active and they want star power. They want good fights as well. They want so much. It's going to be tough to really deliver for these fans. The criticism of Leon Edwards, a lot of people calling him boring, boring fights and things like that, just because he had one boring fight against Colby. Even though I do understand that Leon's never been the most entertaining fighter, maybe people's expectations were way too high. So the ideal is extremely tough to achieve for fans, in my opinion, that ideal champion. But I also think the ideal champion isn't necessarily what I want as a fan from my personal perspective. I don't necessarily want the ideal one of the things that i want as a ufc fan is to just see my favorite fighters become champion an example of this is not everything that i want as a fan of the sport is like for the betterment of the sport necessarily i want the sport to grow and be bigger and better and obviously obvious things like that i think we all do um to an extent we don't want it to get too big where everyone's watching it and then it gets ruined becomes boxing and things like that but like I want the sport to grow bigger, but I also want personal things, personal bias comes into play. I wanted Yuri Prohaska to defeat Alex Pajeda at UFC 295. This is a good example. Alex Pajeda, he's more of the star in that division. Alex Pajeda winning is better for the UFC. Uh, and I wanted Yuri Prohaska to win because I'm just a bigger fan of Yuri than I am of Alex Pajeda. Not that I'm not a fan of Alex Pajeda, but... I really wanted Yuri to win. And that's part of like my ideal champion isn't necessarily the ideal champion in a lot of people's eyes. I also wanted Brandon Royval to defeat Alexandre Pantoja, even though I picked Pantoja. Brandon Royval does not have much star power, but I wanted him as champ just to see one of my favorite fighters become champ. So as far as fans, I feel like a lot of them say, oh, we need this, we need that, we need this, we need that. But in their own personal opinion, they don't even really want those particular values like they'd rather have just their favorites as champ. And I understand that star power is great for the sport. We saw the impact that Conor McGregor had. But me personally, like I don't really care for star power. Like, you know, it's one of those things that appeals to the casual audience. 
and fans are so aggressive like we need a superstar and people are super happy Ilya Taporia defeat Alexander Volkanovsky which I was as well but I'm a fan of Taporia it's not even about the star power like I like the star power it is good obviously but I'm not going crazy about like yes we got a superstar I'm not desperate for that superstar but I understand why a lot of fans are but again do they really like want this like how like what do you want as a fan you know type of thing and I for me it's not star power Yeah, so I just wanted to make a video about that, the ideal UFC champion, because a lot of people are talking about Sean O'Malley, he's got no personality, or Ilya Taporia. A lot of people are speaking really positively of Ilya Taporia, talking about he's got superstar qualities, he's going to be a superstar, we're going to get big stadium events and things like that. But some people are already criticizing Ilya Taporia, saying, oh, you're waiting till October or whatever to have your first defense. We need activity. What happened to champs being active? Which, like, I get, but... I think we may have just been lucky with Kamaru Usman, Alexander Volkanovsky. People forget that Alexander Volkanovsky didn't fight from July of 2020 to September of 2021, but no one will ever bring that up as far as Alexander Volkanovsky's reign. And I love Alexander Volkanovsky, but people act like the guy was fighting every weekend. That's not what it was. I feel like maybe it's a false memory of what this ideal champion was. Just because we had some long, dominant, great title reigns, doesn't mean that these new champions aren't good or they aren't as good as the ones of the past or they're lacking massively in particular areas like Sean O'Malley in my personal opinion is not a massive superstar but he's a star and he's good for the sport like you don't just have whatever how many four million whatever Instagram followers same with Ilya Taporia they are stars so although they may not be Conor McGregor a lot of people like to mock Ilya as a fake McGregor and a lot of stupid stuff but then you're the ones crying about star power. So maybe you have to be the fake McGregor to be a star. Um, it's part of the sport. A lot of these stars are going to act pretty similar because that's how stars act. So I do think, you know, the criticism of fighters in their championship reigns is just a bit inevitable. I do think it's going to be really tough for fighters to kind of live up to the hype that fans have for a championship reign at times because fighters aren't in control of every aspect of how their career turns out it's very difficult to check all the boxes of the ideal champion as we kind of picture super active uh, great fights fighting the correct challenger at all times not trying to move up a weight class until it's the perfect right time to go for that second title and obviously being likable at all times but yeah what are your guys thoughts on the ideal ufc champion what do you guys think makes up the ideal perfect ufc champion what would be the perfect ufc champion in your mind or what particular fighter would be the perfect ufc champion because i me personally i'm really excited for Ilya Taporia's reign i'm not worried about the activity and things like that yet we have to see things play out now i'm not saying criticism of champions is unjustified obviously in moments it's justified if we're you know seeing some stupid stuff playing out we obviously have to point it out but i think some of the criticism has been a little bit wrong but i do think it was an interesting topic to look at what is the ideal from a ufc champion and i think some of those things that i listed as the ideal are the ideal but it's also a bit of personal bias in how our own personal biases play into it and what we actually want from these champions so yeah comment all that down below if you would like to subscribe it means a lot and thanks for watching this video